What's wrong? What's wrong, Jordan? <laughs> I got a crab in my hair. You no. got crabs? Yeah, I'm pretty sure I got a crab. <laughs> oh. Oh, there are <laughs> 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 It was a prison uh, for Costa Rica, and it was one of the most intense prisons, like apparently housing the most dangerous criminals. Ah! Oh my God. Yeah. Cheers, amigos. Cheers. 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 Dang. actually decided to head out again tonight like pretty much straight away we're leaving again i feel like we've been moving non-stop lately <laughs> on the road again <laughs> on the road again <laughs> do we know where we're going or are we just gonna figure it out when we get there no i have a good idea that may have been a bit of an overstatement i have a general idea about the direction but the location was still tbd after a few weeks of rolling our guts out, we needed a calm anchorage. So we decided to sail overnight in the direction of the Nicoya Gulf to what looked like protected and still waters on the chart. It's two o'clock in the morning and I made a little mistake. I was putting out the main earlier because the wind started to pick up a tiny bit. Yeah, I was using the automatic furler to put it out and I went like past the point of that it was all the way unwound and made a weird noise and now that sail won't go back in. I feel pretty bad about that, kind of dumb about that. <laughs> and luckily, I mean, there's no wind right now, so it's fine for it to stay out until the morning and then, yeah, we can take a look at it in the light of day. So that'll be a little job for tomorrow. In the morning, we should arrive in about four hours, so we've got about 20 miles to go to the anchorage. And that's it. I'm on watch from um, 2 to 4. It's just kind of started raining. But the bioluminescence tonight is just wild. I was like, is it moonlight? I can't really see that much moons. But I was like, why is it lighting up all the waves? And they just crazy bioluminescence. Bioluminescence occurs through a chemical reaction that produces light within an organism's body. In this case, it's most likely a tiny single-celled plankton on or near the surface. Species like this contain luciferin, a molecule that when stirred up by the movement of water, reacts with oxygen and produces light. This is a pretty sweet spot. Yeah, it's real nice in here. We finally found a calm anchorage, huh? Kaz is gonna be so happy. So is Nugs. Yeah, it's I spotted gonna... like three Nugget-worthy beaches in the last five minutes. Looks very like remote in here. Yeah, you know? not a lot going on. Yeah, it's very cool. I vlogged about my boo-boo last night. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm what sorry. Did you do, I don't know. <laughs> Let's find out how bad it is. You What's your assessment plan? Uh, I'm just gonna manually furl it in. So the motor is spinning, but the furler is not, which tells me that something happened between the motor and the gearbox. I suspect it broke the the pin off, which sucks. I'm too tired to deal with it now. Yeah. I just furled in the sail and we'll take a look at it when I get some more energy. Sounds good. Mm -hmm. This spot is pretty fantastic. 
it's like no window so it's super hot we put out the cover to keep it a little cooler inside but it's not rolly it's not any crazy swell and i do think brian spotted some beaches coming in really stoked for no waves on the beach and <laughs> just like a little bit of easier landing it's so interesting how like our criteria has changed of like what's a good anchorage not <laughs> since having Sierra I've been a little strained lately so I feel like this is gonna be a nice um, spot to kind of recuperate and get some stuff done Look at that. There is a beach with no waves. <laughs> we interrupt our program to bring you this important message. Ahoy, Delos tribe. Guess what? After months of torture testing, our new hooded sun shirts are finally ready for release. <laughs> we have both men's and women's and a hooded design protects your head and neck from this brutal sun. The material is like super soft, stretchy, it's got a really good fit, and best of all, it has a UPF rating of 50, so it really protects you from the sun. Yeah, so head on over to svdels.com forward slash hot, hot, because they're hot, <laughs> and get yours today. Thank you very much, and uh, back, back to the to show. show. We just pulled in here yesterday. It's a super cool island. We were just sort of ready for a good anchorage and this place looked calm and it's absolutely flat. It's really well protected. We came in to check out this beach. There's also like some abandoned buildings here. We were walking around and it turns out that there's a ton of mango trees. Here. <sighs> so we're gonna go uh, do some mango collecting and just generally like hang out. It's about all we have planned for the day. Sounds good, mm. sounds pretty good. Pretty good day. Let's go get some sticky icky mangoes. Oh, oh, cool little jungle vine. vine. Three, ready? Wow, wow. <laughs> <laughs> Dead a that's a dead animal, Sierra. That's pretty crazy. Pretty wild, huh? Who knows what this is? Has was thinking maybe it's a resort, but where it was, it has more of a barracks feel to me. These, I think, used to be like four showers. But who would have four showers in the barracks? I don't know. I mean, there was, there was also like a bunch of uh, abandoned jails on these islands. And so, I don't know, we'll have to do some research. But if anybody knows about the history or research, it would be cool to comment because I like to read those and learn stuff. Okay. I'm going into the shower. Oh, there's a huge wasp nest there. Look at that. Oh, jeez. Good thing it's on a stick. See. And there's where the soap. So that's probably oh, good. We should get oh. out of here. Anyway, <laughs> you having right. fun with your, your stick? <laughs> it was Kaz's idea. <laughs> Scrolling the socials. Yeah, sorry, I just need a couple minutes. I'm on level 165 of Candy Crush. <laughs> Whoa, Mango City. But those are super on red. Gotta like dodge the squishy ones I know. when you're walking through. Yeah. Oh, they're everywhere. I think I can get it. You get it, Brian. <laughs> Oh. <laughs> yeah, get that one. Mmm, oh. <laughs> yummy mangoes. Good, mm -hmm. perfect for your squeezies, huh? Here. 
like the squishiest ever. I know. And it's like really like black sand. Yeah. Could probably make a little mud ball to throw at Brion. It's a great idea. Okay. Dun Nice little, nice little haul. And we we just ate one. Oh. <laughs> On a scale of one to ten, how juicy we talking? How was who's what? How was she we talking? <laughs> how juicy we talking? How how juicy we talking? What do you think? I, said? I never know which one. <laughs> um, juicy factor was like a ten. It was juicy, juicy. Stringy factor, I'd give it a five. It's yeah. a bit stringy. Yeah. Flavors was good though. It had the amazing like a nine on flavor. Are you the keeper of the mangoes? Mango keeper. I've got a lovely bunch of mangoes. Dee dee. There they are, standing in a row. Big one, small one, some as big as your head. Snacks. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I like this spot. It's really chill. Exactly what I needed. What a beautiful night. No. Mm. Look at this ah. little chiller. Oh, I'm, getting a, I'm getting a head massage from the nugget. No. Oh, thank you, nugget. That looks very nice. Oh. 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 Is that good? Yeah, that's good. Sufficiently walked upon. Uh, I'm like a new man. Y'all ready for some dinner? We got all these amazing mangoes, and I want to do something special with the mangoes. And so yeah. I think we're gonna have nachos and mango margaritas. It's living the dream out here. We are living. Go, 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 go. <laughs> Faster! Yeah! Okay, now I need to spread this around. <laughs> like in the bean bag. It's so oh, good. No, no, I don't want no. I like my beans in moderation. You guys are upset. I can't. I can't. Hello, Daddy. That'll do. A couple more. Okay, so we got the tequilas. Since I don't know how much tequila went in there, there's not really any point in measuring the concho either, is it? Oh my god, like <laughs> stinging my eyes is putting up. Oh, it tastes good though. Ooh. It's it's deadly though. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just gonna fill it up. up. Yeah. It's still Frickin' on fire. Okay. And take the pipe. Yes. Cheers, amigos. Cheers. They're so cheesy. Yeah. Well, yeah. Ten out of ten. Alright, we're winning. Right there. Yeah, here you go. Mama. Yeah. Oh, I love Papa. you. You're welcome. We have so much. You can have as much as you want. Oh, sweetie. Eat nachos for the rest of your life. Are you going to eat that nacho kid or what? <laughs> Anchorage, though. That was a super, super nice spot. I love finding wild fruit. And now we're off to the next place. There's this island called Isla San Lucas, which used to be a prison. A lot of people are putting prisons on islands around here. I guess yeah. that makes sense. But uh, the whole island is a national park, and uh, we had to pay to anchor there and pay to go on the island, um, which is interesting, I guess. 
but yeah, we're just gonna go chill out, uh, maybe walk around, hang out, anchor for a few days. Good. Tour the park. It's really red, tidy up in here. I think that's what it is, right? Don't you think? I mean, Looks I like it. I heard that. I heard that there was red tide up here. How's it look, guys? Shortly after arrival at San Lucas, who went for a dip to scrub the bottom. What's wrong? What's wrong, Jordan? <laughs> I got crab in my hair. You no. got crabs? Yeah, I'm pretty sure I got crab. No. It's really moving. Oh, it won't no. stop moving. Okay. Okay, here, put, okay. put it. Yep. Oh my God. Oh my God. Okay. Okay, I'm, I'm going to put it in there, okay? Yeah, put it in. Yeah. <gasps> oh! <laughs> <laughs> Good morning, friend. Hey, there's a lot going on this morning. We got uh, a nice little couple here building a nest in our mizzen boom. You can hear them uh, crawling around inside sometimes. <laughs> it's pretty funny. And then there's all sorts of pelicans diving for their breakfast. It's a really beautiful spot. <laughs> you know how we have toast? Toast with cheese on it and eggs sometimes? The pelican's getting his breakfast. They eat fish. Today we're gonna head into that dock over there, which I think is the entrance to the national park. But we haven't seen anybody, no <laughs> rangers, no other boats, no people, it's just us. So, I don't know, I bought tickets online. <laughs> like, <laughs> what we do with them. <laughs> it's an old prison. Around, I think there's some walking trails. Just explore the island. <laughs> So this island became a penal colony in, what was it, 1873. So from 1873 to 1991, like over 100 years, it was a prison uh, for Costa Rica, and it was one of the most intense prisons, like apparently housing the most dangerous criminals that they had of the day. Uh, being sent to San Lucas Island was a terrible prospect as prisoners' lives were short and often spent in torture. It's kind of wild that it used to be like a really intense prison and that we're now walking around here like tourists. <laughs> it's just crazy to think how it's changed over a few years, you know? So apparently what we're looking for, there's a medical building, temporary holding cells. One of the cool things is it's a cultural heritage site right now. Uh, there's also a lot of cells that we can look at, like prisoner cells, and the type of cell was dependent on what the prisoner did and the type of person. Like from The prison cell contains typical graffiti of older Latin American prisons, such as religious phrases, pornographic images, signatures, and drawings. Yeah. This looks pretty new though. So apparently prisoners are snooze coomers. <laughs> Look at this. We got topless, bottomless woman. We got group scene. I feel like this one's really well done. Yeah. This one's really beautiful. So 
this one must be like toilets. Ooh. I'm imagining. Well, it could be like a shower too, or a poop bowl, hard to say. This is a, uh, like a courtyard area, but it's all kind of like there's bars up here. And so I imagine that maybe they, the prisoners had yard time or something where they would open up all the doors and keep them in this common area. You have your toilets available and then tonight everybody gets locked away again. the cell stuff. So I think it's getting also like super freaking hot because it's the middle of the day. So I want to go swimming. Do you want to go to the beach, Sierra? Yeah, let's go swimming. <laughs> There's like a huge family of Howler monkeys like just chilling out in these trees on the just right by side of the trail. It's so cool. I don't know, we counted one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and then over here there's like a bunch more. It's a pretty big family. We've heard them from the boat yesterday, like kind of the scream they have, like the whoo, like the howling that the male do. It's pretty impressive. Made it to the beach! Such a nice beach. Is it nice? Yeah, the water's pretty warm though. It feels like you're jumping into the bath. But it's still good. Found. What did you find? We found these two things. Oh. And we found this. That's and we found one shoe. That's a really nice shoe, Sierra. Wow. Did you get some stuff? Yeah. So let's see what mommy got. Whoa, what is that? Yeah, a stripper sandal? Some snazzy shoes. Whee. Whoa, mommy. Yeah. It's gonna walk on by all these shoes. It was a good treasure hunt today, and I think it's time to head back. Take the little, it's like a 30 minute walk back, so. <sighs> Beautiful here though. Next up on Delos, we visit a group of people that are building a sail-powered cargo ship in the middle of the jungle. Rolling bananas. <laughs> I, need my, I need my poking stick. <laughs> and that was not me farting. When I lean over my shorts, watch. I swear it's the material. That's what they all say. So hard to do it one handed. That's what he said. Well, there's a ride in the hole down there. Fucking uh, buy a house. <laughs> it's got a big old workshop, plenty of space, no dead fish. Sunglasses on or off? We have to look there though. We should put hoods up. Could the design protect your. Just say neck, it. head and neck. Okay, I might have to do that one a few times. You ready? <laughs> we have women. <laughs> Shit. <laughs> we have men's and women's. Wait. Just 
is weird. Uh, protect your head from the sun. No, wait, I won't do that again. Can I do that again? Head on over to, what was the drink? svdelos.com <laughs> forward slash hot. Should we do that last part again? Uh, was it good? I think it's good. We could try it again. 